I mean, the, the company basically did two trials, the, uh, the Vectus trial and the uh, Novative trial. So basically, they all kind of identical. The first trial, they looked at severe cases of, the, uh, of uh, uh, patients who have severe VKC. Uh, they had about 169 patients, uh, as I remember. And basically, oh, those trials are great trials because they are multi-centered, uh, placebo-controlled, uh, double match. So basically, I don't know what the patient is taking. The patient doesn't know. So those are the best trials when you go to the FDA. Uh, the first trial, basically, they uh, divide the patients into a couple of groups. The first groups give them the, the, the Vercasia four times a day, uh, or they give them the Vercasia twice a day plus a vehicle or a vehicle. Only vehicle, which is placebo. And they follow those patients. And uh, after four months, after four, four months, they stopped the vehicle and put them on the medicine itself. So basically for four months, they were either on the, the medicine or the vehicle, but after four months, from four to 12, all of them were on medicine. Uh, the other study was kind of identical, but they looked at moderate to severe disease. And it was a kind of similar design. However, they stopped the vehicle at one month and they stopped and then switched into the medicine after that. Uh, the striking feature in both studies that we found uh, an impressive improvement in the signs of corneal inflammation or called keratitis, as well as the symptoms in the patients in both, both studies. Uh, so you look at efficacy and you look at side effects. I mean, these are the two main things when you uh, look at a trial. Plus, we have another, another second end points. I don't have to discuss it now. But the first, end, the first end point was improvement in inflammation in the cornea. Both studies have shown that the medicine had uh, statistically significant uh, results over the vehicle. Uh, plus, plus, you know, the signs, which is the redness and the itching in the eye. Uh, when it comes to, uh, which basically we're talking about improvement in the quality of life of the patients. When I look at uh, side effects or, uh, from, uh, or adverse events from the medicines, the most common ones were some pain in the eye, which about uh, reported in 12% of participants, and some itching, which is in 8% of uh, the participants. There was no major adverse events in either uh, trial. Uh, and that's why uh, uh, I think that the results are very exciting, and this is going to be a great uh, change in the quality of life for those young children.